Hi friends, this lesson is for module one, lesson 16. Our learning goal for today says, I can use counting on to find an unknown number. Ooh, so far we've just been counting on, you know, to find the answer. Today we're gonna use counting on to find an unknown number. Well, that sounds awesome. Can't wait, let's go. Now, when we count on, which strategy do you prefer? I know the ones that I like, what do you like? Do you like just thinking about it in your good brain? Do you prefer to use your counting sticks and have those be the tool you use to help you count on? Or do you like to use the five group cards? Either way, any strategy is good because they all will help us get the answer. Let me go ahead and show you what all these different strategies look like um, when I'm trying to find an unknown. Are you ready? Okay, so here's a perfect example of a number sentence with an unknown. It says four plus something equals seven. Four, four plus something equals seven. Well, I don't know. I guess my good brain's not going to help me out. I need to use a tool. For this one, I'm going to use the five dot cards. I actually didn't cut them out and use them yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw dots in an organized way like they would be on the cards. As I draw the dots, I'm going to count on. Are you ready? So I'll say four, and then I'm going to count on to find what's missing until I get to seven. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven. Stop. All right. I had four. I added some more, and I got to seven. Friends, how many little dots did I have to draw? Yeah, three. So three is my answer. Four plus three equals seven. Guess what? I can check myself by using my counting six. I'm going to put up three counting six, and I'm going to say four, five, six, seven. Yep worked out. Good job. For this one, I used the five groups, those little dots to help me out. And I added up or counted on until I got to seven. Let's use a different strategy, shall we? All right, five plus something equals nine. Ugh, that seems like a big number. Okay, five plus something equals nine. This time, I'm going to use my all-time favorite strategy. I'm going to use my counting six. I love them. So I'm going to say five, and then I'm going to count on on my fingers. Can you go ahead and hold up one hand? I'm going to have you count on with me, and you use the fingers just as I do. Ready? So we'll say five, and then we'll count on, and we'll stop when we get to nine. Here we go. Hands ready? Six, seven, eight, nine. Stop. Okay, how many fingers did I have to put up? Four? Is that what you did? Oh, perfect job. That means five plus four equals nine. See how I use my good counting six to help me count up? That was really helpful. I love it. All right, so this is just another way that I could find an unknown. I could start with the number that I had and then count on using my counting six until I get to the answer. When I'm done, I just count to see how many counting six I used. One, two, three, four. I used four. All right, let's try one more strategy. For this strategy, we're going to use our good brain. Two plus something equals four. Well, I could count on it in my brain. Two, three, four. Okay. Or guess what? I know a little thing called doubles. I remember it from kindergarten. Two plus two equals four. I just remembered that using my good thinking. If I wanted to, though, I could just count up two, three, four. Oh, I added two. I put two in my good box. There's lots of different ways to solve these problems. The great thing about math is you don't have to solve every problem just one way. You can use different strategies to help you find the answer. I love math for that reason. Our learning goal for today says, I can use counting on to find an unknown number, and that's exactly what we did. We did it using three different strategies. We used our good thinking, we used um, our five group cards, and then we also used our counting sticks. <clears throat> For this seesaw, what I would like you to do is I want you to find the answer. Six plus something equals eight. But I also want you to make a video and tell me what strategy did you use and why do you like that strategy? So for me, I would probably use counting six. I like it because it's a visual tool that I can see. What strategy would you use to find the answer? So you're finding the answer and then making a video to tell me what strategy you used. Good luck, friends.